Hello what's up guys, welcome back to another video of Trail Makers. Today I'll be showcasing some of my planes, cars, boats and other stuff, which I don't know. No. So anyways, we are in Airborne, because we are going to be showcasing planes. So, the, the, first place, the first plane I want to showcase is one that I've built more recently. And basically it uses the new landing gear and some powered fins and pistons to make it look like a plane that can take off like this see if I just pull up that it flies really good it's quite balanced actually and it's got a whole lot of curbs I made this because I'm trying to get that feeling of getting a smooth as but a landing so now if I come in for one Yeah, I, I'm still not good at landings, but that, that was a project, but the, the, the one that I like most is this stunt plane that I made. Basically, I painted this up, added decals, and it's all for like stunts, like trying to find stuff in here. It's actually quite good of how fast it is. It also uses gyros, so it's got that sharp turning. As you can see, it's got a nice roll. And you can also go in for a landing, which is actually really good. Just like that. Probably want to get... Yeah, also it flings you forward if you get out whilst it's still going. Anyways, on to the next plane, which is as shown before in my in one of my most recent trail makers videos is actually the fast plane except i made a few modifications first i added thrusters here with a large propeller and of course propellers down there which is connected somehow yeah and it's actually really good and it's really fast too i think this also uses gyros yeah, this also uses gyros. Sit, see, uh, it's super fast. I actually made many modifications, like adding just one propeller, adding more thrusters, and this is the finished result that I got. Of course, you can modify yours, because it is only a building game. Just came in for a landing. Next one is actually two, which are the same. First is my best fighter plane, which quite literally is my best fighter plane. And this one is actually available on the workshop. I can actually show you guys in a minute. But it's quite fast and manoeuvrable. Uses rockets, even, even uses two blasters up in the front. Now there's actually a second version of this which has the exact same guns. It's basically like a fighter plane, except with one more detail. It works both for ground vehicles and air moving targets. The reason is, is because I added a bomb to it. Yeah, and this is our actually half capacity, half complexity, I meant. So, as you can see, bomb right there. I launch it, and it does that. Yeah, it's got the exact same stuff, except more wings, because of the added weight. Yeah. It, yeah, it's really big. Yeah, and if we go to the Steam Workshop, and... And hit... No, uploads, I meant. And of course I got Fighter Plane too, it's one of my older Fighter Planes. But if we go, nope. Yeah, that's also a plane. I'll be showing you guys in a minute th about that. But here it is. It's called Super Cool Fighter Jet. Kinda. Uh, forces balanced. Because all the forces are balanced. Kinda. Anyways, so th this one is what I was trying to do earlier. It's, it's got pretty much the same stuff. Hmm. And most of this is stuff from when I did Airborne. 
this is my plane fighter. The, 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 this was this was doing when, when I had airborne, but before I learnt, well, doing was I learnt how to do that. But I didn't yet add the landing gear. Well, I did add the landing gear as the back, as you can see. But I added tons of rockets. Also, three mini guns, and of course, a EMP. So if we get all the stuff back and let's start shooting, it's really powerful. But I didn't think that having the uh, rockets were really good, so I didn't really publish this. And the landing gear does go in, and this also it's also kind of fast. It uses no gyros or anything like that. It's also got I think yeah, it's got shields. I had to check that. So I think it's really cool, kinda. It's not really that stable, to be honest. But it works. It's just not one of my better ones, I think. But anyways, I'm gonna add one more thing. It's actually one of my more older ones, kinda. But this is when I wanted to do a rocket ship. So as you can see, there's landing which I can control with the arrow keys. This is not published on uh, Workshop, and those gyro stabilizers are for the roll, because I had a problem when, when I gone up. So let's just quickly go up. With one and two. But I had a problem where it would spin, so I added it to counteract it. Of course it still spins if I make it spin. But yeah. I think it's a really cool bold and if you want to skip to the car, the car section, I'll just pop up the time right on the FPS counter. So skip to there, I'm just going to show one more thing. But if you want to go to cars right now, you can do. And if you want to skip to certain times, I'll leave it in the comments or description. Right, it's for the people who are still here. I'm just trying to find it. It is this one. I did not actually create it. I just found it a long time ago. I was playing with a guy and he showed me this. Which I thought was really cool. It works both in water and air, as you can see. It actually works quite nice. It's very responsive. It, he actually made this before Airborne came out, I'm pretty sure. You know, but, yeah, I don't really know, but he did it before all the Airborne systems were out. Yeah. Anyways, we'll be right back. And we're back. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that is. Uh, that's a shop. <sighs> Editor, me remove that, please. Thank you. What the... Oh, wait, this looks vastly different than I remember. Anyways, so I think there was a few modifications that I do not remember. Oh, wait, I... I do remember a discussion about... Oh... Really? Oh. Yeah, well, I remember them saying that they were going to do some texture changes, then add, like, a new rope item. Rope item. So I guess they did that. Yep, rope. Power coupling. I'll make a video about that eventually. But, yeah, we are now on the car section. Now, I, I took a lot of time. This is actually powered by three, uh, three different ones. If you want three different power pull out engines but if you want me to publish this just put in the comments and i'll make sure to publish it but this uses tons of stuff like a, a lot of suspension it's also very flippy and just to do my achievement i got a little um chirpo statue there but yeah it's actually really good 
it's got little um, things on the back. I think it was really cool. I I gone through a lot of prototypes, and just to make it less flippy, I added some weight in the back. That didn't work out. And I also got this. This is made. I'm still trying to complete the campaign of this one, but this is quite big. It's quite good. It's quite bulking. As you can see, if I just go down here. It didn't destroy the seat, so that's a good sign. The user's almost almost entirely bullpup engines. Now let's go all the way over here. Uh, a guy showed me this from one of my friends and it looks pretty cool. It's even got the angled one. Got a little map. And so I thought that was a cool little detail, like cool little car I'd show you. Yeah, and of course one of my failed projects. It was actually for a plane, a uh, a plane that I was making. It was a failed project, and this was for it. It's quite big and bulky. Then I then I took all this, made it bigger and put in the suspension so yeah it would have been good I would have showed you the cargo plane it just wasn't that good yeah so and now we're here editor please blur that too when it finishes but the, this is one of my most more recent ones it is a it's a ship I actually made this just this morning actually it's got little power boosting. It's quite good actually. And if and if I show the internal of it, then then as you can see, it's hollow, but with some medium dingy thing and bobs. Yeah. Anyways, I do have another boat. I think I don't know. There's of course the cart. Nope. Wrong one. Yeah. Trying to find it. Oh. Well. I got this. I did not make this. I'm pretty sure it was someone called Scrapman. I just found it off the workshop. And I made a little modification as you can see on the front. But anyways, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe, comment, and see you in the next one. Bye.